Now, Gunther, if I've told you once, I've told you a million times, stay away from my beer. What the hell's wrong with you? You know a beer, man? You come between a man and his beer, you, you play, you, man, you, let me tell you something, Gunther. You are teasing the gorilla in the monkey cage, son. Good old ice screw. That's not what we're here to talk about today, guys. We've got a little bit of a package in the mail. At first, I didn't, I was looking for a DVD that I'd ordered from my wife, but amazingly enough, this big, huge mailer package was stuffed in my wee little mailbox. I have a little mailbox out front. And I had to tear it open a little bit just to see what it was, make sure it wasn't her item. It was my item, which is about two-thirds of this package, and they crammed it into my little mailbox. I'm hoping it's not damaged, but I'm going to open it. I'm going to pull it out of the container on camera here. It's a traditional, semi-traditional unpackaging. Let's get right into it, guys. <coughs> Pardon me. Needed that. Oh, it's Freddy Krueger. What could it be? What could it be? It's getting on the Halloween season. What we have here, guys, is a Freddy glove. Now, it's not unlike anything you don't that you know that you see around this time of year. This is, uh, of course, just a run-of-the-mill little Ruby's brand, license brand, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger glove. Uh, yeah, it's a cheapo. It's a plastic deal, but there is a reason for buying this, guys. See, back in the day. Uh, I, you know, a lot of people are probably going to give me flack for this video. They're probably going to say, "You're not, you're a poser, man. You're not a, you're not a purist. You got to have like a metal glove, a metal replica, screen accurate glove." I like those gloves, and they're expensive. And maybe I'll get one one day. This was ten dollars shipped, and I'm going to tell you why. I went ahead and got me a, just an El Cheapo plastic Freddy glove. I'm a true horror fan from way back. I grew up when these gloves first came out. I'm proud to say that I had one of these plastic gloves. This is as close, or if not, the same plastic mold, colors and everything as my original glove that I've got pictures of from when I was a kid. Um, I do not know where that glove ended up. I would love it. I'd love to have it now. But uh, this glove, like I said, is it? This is the same as the one as I had when I was growing up. And I gotta say. It's for nostalgia purposes. I bought it for the man cave because I wanted to surround the man cave with, you know, like Jason masks and just posters and things that just say me. You know, it's a total self-absorbed thing whenever you're building a man cave. You know, masks that I like, things like that. Rocky, you gotta have Rocky. But Freddy Krueger is a staple of my uh, my upbringing, basically. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, but this is the same glove as what I had when I grew up, and I just wanted to just to have one of these again just to put on display in the man cave i haven't picked out a spot yet but uh looks like the cardboard backing got a little bent but i don't know i'm going to take it out of that anyway a lot of people a lot of the hard nerds are out there going no don't take it out of the package it'll lose its value well i have to tell you this is one of those mass-produced things guys it is a true licensed glove one of these plastic jobs but uh it's mass produced. These aren't going to be worth anything. So these are reproductions anyway. If I had the original one that came out in the 80s, I think around 87, 88, whenever I bought that. What was cool about that old story I was about to tell you, uh, my mother and I, this was probably going to be the last year I ever dressed up for Halloween. And I wanted to be Freddy Krueger, but uh, we were talking about buying these other costumes and stuff, and we only had about 15 to $20 to spend. Well, that's how much these gloves were going for when they first come out. It was around fifteen to twenty dollars in '80s money. You know, nowadays that's probably about forty bucks comparable, you know, in price. And of course, uh, they don't cost as much anymore. But uh, this this is the one that I remember. And I, like I said, I jumped at the chance just to grab one because Halloween is on the rise. It's next month, and I want to grab it. But I remember having that discussion with my mother, and we had to make the rest of my costume just from old clothes and everything. But uh, the glove is what was uh, it tied it all together. It's kind of like the Big Lebowski's rug. It tied the room together. This is the this is the item that tied the costume together. I digress, guys. There it is for your viewing pleasure. Get out there and get your cheapo Freddy glove for your man cave. They're out there on eBay. This is an eBay purchase. Just uh, type in this brand right here, Rubies. It is a uh, licensed brand. This isn't a bootleg or anything like that, to my knowledge. It's got the uh, New Line Cinema logo there on the back so yeah anyway little piece of my history goofy to some but cool to me rock on dudes i'll catch you next time
Bye.